Today we are styling a rustic farmhouse valentine tray with vintage finds and a couple of DIYs I made. So let's go ahead and get started. I made a couple DIYs for this tray. You're going to need a small embroidery needle and some embroidery thread some fabric of your choice, some fabric scissors, and then some batting. Mine came from an old pillow. So I just went into my Word program and I went into the shape section and I printed off this heart and I made it the size I wanted. And I'm gonna make six of these and trace them and cut them out. And so that I'll have three hearts this size. And I also made a few smaller ones already ahead of time. But uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these um, when we get to the part of styling the tiered tray. These heart tutorials are really all over YouTube. Many people have been doing them. So now I'm going to take my embroidery needle and I'm putting my pieces uh, backside facing each other. And I'm just going to take my thread and I'm just going to make some straight stitches um, around the outside of the heart. So what I like to do with this embroidery thread is I like to take a little painter's tape and just stick it on the end and keep those ends all together so that it makes it easier for me to thread the embroidery needle. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to bring the needle up through the front and I'm just going to do a straight stitch and I'll show you the length here about just how long I'm going to make it and I'm going to do that all the way around the heart. So I'm taking mine and I'm using the embroidery thread to sew it. I just thought that sewing it would be an extra nice detail to it. Certainly I've seen um, like the DIY Mommy and Teresa from Our Green Acres and uh, Kayla from Live Oak Nest. They were doing these also and they hot glued them so certainly you could do that too. Okay time to stuff this we are going to take our batting and you want to make sure that you get the batting up into those rounded parts of the hearts so that that's not flat up there. you got to kind of push it and work it in there. Now I'm tying my knot and I am just clipping my tails off. Okay, there's one. I'm going to spare you having to see the other two. And here are my three hearts. And I'll show you how they look on the tray in a minute. So now take last year's pieces. Take some white paint and give them a new life. So then I took my Cricut and I took some removable vinyl and I made that love sign and I just distressed it a little bit. I had some of those roses there in those colors and I took some glue dots and I used that to fasten the roses to the heart. And now I'm ready to decorate my tiered tray. So I'm starting with some pieces that I already have. I've collected some clear glass pieces and some blues. This creamer and sugar bowl that I have that I'll be using today, it gives it kind of a vintage look. This is more of a, a rustic farmhouse uh, styled tiered tray for Valentine's Day. And I really wanted to uh, give it kind of an old fashioned look. And I wanted to be unconventional. I didn't want to go with traditional pinks and reds. Now here is what I did with those fabric hearts. I put them inside this cloche and I thought that they would look cute like that. And I'm just going to take my beads here and set them down. And then I'm going to take my love sign and I'm just going to place it right on top of those beads. And so now I'm moving on to the bottom and I'm using my honey pot that I had that I used in my kitchen tier tray and I can link that above if you haven't seen that yet. 
I made this little stand a while back and I thought it would look nice with this display this time. And I'm just adding kind of some filler pieces in the back before I style the front. I'm also still going to be using this little cutting board with this little doily. I think it's really cute and I want to keep it on the tray. Here's my sugar bowl that goes with that creamer and I did a thrift shopping and haul and if you're interested in that I will also link that below and in the cards and you can see um, when I went shopping for those items. So I'm just adding a pop of pink here. Um, I Just a little bit of pink because it is Valentine's Day and I just thought that maybe that would look nice with the blue. I'm just going to set that right in the back there. All right, so now I'm adding my heart that I DIY'd and I'm just gonna lay that kind of right in front of the cutting board and lean it up against the side of the tray. And then I'm just gonna take these decorative spheres that I have and I'm going to set these in the front. Now I think it would be nice if I had some blue, um, I have some little blue flowers and I forgot that I have them down in the basement. So I got those from Hobby Lobby and they're real tiny and I think they would look nice on this tray. And I think I might go get those and add those because I think that that would just um, fill it out nicely. Even though I'm happy with it the way that it is. All right, I went ahead and I found those blue flowers and I'm gonna be adding these to the tray. And I wasn't sure if it would be too much blue or if it would clash, but I think it looks just right. So I'm really glad that I went down and looked for those. And here is my finished tray. Sorry, it's going to take a couple seconds to focus. My camera wasn't cooperating. And I'm really glad that I added the blue flowers. I feel like it does add to it. I was worried about having too much blue or things clashing or maybe this tray being too busy because I really didn't want it to be too busy. But um, I am happy that I added them. I think that they look nice. And word to the wise on the heart here, I used the glue dots and one of the little blue flowers fell off. So hot glue would probably be better to use. Um, I just used what was real close to me and at hand and I didn't want to go looking for my glue gun at the moment, so I used the dots. Here's a real quick look at the back. I really like my rustic hearts too. Um, I made this three larger ones and then I have some smaller ones in there too that I also ended up making. The back side of this is going to be against the wall, so it's not a real big deal in how it looks. And then here's where I have it on my table. I keep my linens in this drawer here. And I'm going to put something above it. I was going to do two shelves, and now I'm leaning towards a mug rack, so I'm not really sure. Maybe you can help me out and let me know in the comments what you think I should do here. I can't decide. Anyways, there is my rustic farmhouse valentine tray, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out today. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or comment below if you have anything you'd like to add. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. I do weekly videos and I would love to have you here on my channel. Have a great week.